What is going on you guys? Make it Wayne back and today I have a 90k coin game for you guys. I'm rocking out with the Atlanta Falcons uniforms using the new 99 overall Michael Vick. Giving you guys some gameplay with him. We're playing away in this one on his home field. I'm playing MuttLife21 on Twitter. If you guys have never heard of him, I will put his Twitter link in the description down below. But you see, we get pretty lucky to start off this game. We throw it to Gronk. He's able to Superman dive and he gums down with the catch. As we're hitting Alshon Jeffrey, he gets us the first down, and we find ourselves with a third down and 16. We're rolling out with Michael Vicks. Looks like we might be able to score, but then we get pushed out of bounds at the 14-yard line. So we're moving to start off this game, and we're going to end it off with a touchdown run by Jonathan Stewart. So we do take the 7-0 lead in this game, and we find ourselves on defense with the lead exactly the way I like it. Because you guys know I like playing defense in this game. I think I have pretty good defense as we're getting a huge hit and Ryan Kerrigan's gonna pick up that fumble and we find ourselves back on offense with the 7-0 lead we've got a third down and nine and we hit Mike Evans with the out route fourth down and three I decided to go for it we're rolling out with Vic we see wide open field we hit him with the spin move we get ourselves down to the 31 yard line we're moving down the field once again if we are able to take a touchdown right here that would give us a 14-0 lead before halftime and that's exactly what we're trying to do as we hand it off to Darren McFadden hits him with the spin move gets down to the six yard line but I was not able to do anything from that point on so I did end up taking my field goal so we're sitting pretty if we're able to get some more stops on defense we will get that 90k and I could really use it at this point in time as he's hitting his wide receiver with the pass he's got 50 seconds left to drive down the field he's rolling out with Derek Carr he's gonna take this one with him I think that's the new all rookie um Derek Carr and he has pretty good speed on that card so he definitely can scramble as he's rolling out once again looking to find someone open and he ends up fumbling the ball and star to Lele dives down gets the interception get up and run big boy and he's getting down to the 32 yard line but I did end up just taking a field goal on that drive so we do find ourselves up 13 to 0 in this game going into halftime and he gets the ball first so if we can get another stop on defense it might be game over as he's hitting Trey Mason with the pass and he's getting another first down but he ran a lot of PA end around and you guys know that play is very very tough to stop because there are so many routes he can hit and he has a mobile quarterback as well so he it was rolling out of the pocket but he's hitting another pass which leaves him just short of a first down he's gonna hand this one off to Trey Mason he's gonna get him the first down we're still up 13 to 0 we have 250 to go in the third quarter one more stop and like I said it might be game over as he's rolling out again he did that a ton and it was really really hard to stop so I'm gonna have to find a way to do that make an adjustment as he's rolling out again and he's gonna end up taking this one into the end zone for a touchdown so now it's only a 13 to 7 game as we hand it off to Darren McFadden he breaks the tackle hits him with the spin move and gets to the 31 yard line all we need to do is drive down the field and get some points on the board as we're scrambling with Vic and he's going to end up sacking me and we've got a third down to 10 we're going to try to throw it up to Calvin but he did send an A gap blitz and we have to end up punting the ball again my opponent back on offense once again rolling out with Derek Carr running PA end around he's gonna get out of bounds at the 30 yard line a touchdown we would find ourselves down with one point so we definitely don't want to be giving up anything here as he hits his wide receiver on the slant route he's dropping back he's rolling out again looking can't find anyone open rolls out even more and he's gonna end up finding his wide receiver for another first down so he's moving there's only 253 left in this game and like I said, a touchdown would give him the lead as we almost get the user pick there. Second down in 10. He's rolling out. He's looking. He can't find anyone open. And look at the bait I had with the user pick with Luke Keekley. A clutch interception almost in the red zone. So we do find ourselves back on offense once again. And all we needed to do is just make a long drive down the field. But you do see he shuts down the run there. So we try to throw it up deep to Calvin Johnson. And we're not able to get it. So we have to punt the ball back to him one more time. A touchdown wins the game 
for him. That's all he can get right here. He can't take a field goal as he hits a Trey Mason spin move that gets him the first down. 40 seconds to go. He's handing it off again. We're able to pop him down at the 45-yard line. He's across midfield. He's rolling out with Derek Carr, looking to find someone open on third down and seven. No one is. He tries to throw it back across the field. Khalil Mack is able to bat that one down. He has a fourth down and seven. This is going to be the last play of the game. He's looking. Can't find anyone open. We're using all over the field, trying to cover everything. Still can't find anyone open. Throws it up. And Steve Atwater is able to knock that one down. So we are going to take our last knee. And we are going to be 90k richer. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like on it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to my channel for more Madden 15 Ultimate Team content. Go follow me on Twitter at MakeItWayne. And until next time, guys, have a good one.